Oh, you're going to love this. It is billed as a guided walking, tasting, and history tour of downtown Fort Wayne. Emily Dwyer has a story. Whether you're a Fort Wayne native or new to our great city, this is something you might think about putting on your must-do list. The Fort Wayne Food Tours gives people a chance to explore and experience downtown Fort Wayne and get a good taste of what it has to offer. And you'll see for yourself, it offers a lot. I tagged along on a recent tour to show you why the food tours are positively Fort Wayne. The Fort Wayne Food Tours gives kind of a behind the scenes glimpse of our city. It's really a great way for people to experience downtown if they're not sure where to start. Since 2019, Amber Bothon has been leading groups through the streets of downtown Fort Wayne, combining food, history, and art for a unique cultural experience. It was a way for us to find some other places to eat downtown Fort Wayne. I'm super excited to see the areas of Fort Wayne, especially where I live. I love that. There are four stops at local restaurants all in downtown. The gas house is like the traditional steakhouse. How is the food so Good. far? Happy Gnome, we never know what it's going to be. Fun, funky tacos or a really awesome salad. I'm always happy to introduce Happy Gnome to new people. Um, it's always good to see people from out of town coming in and experiencing it. It's always good to introduce people from Fort Wayne to uh, what we do here as well. Proximo then is that Latin fusion, and so their dishes are super creative. And of course, DeBrand, I mean, we literally get a smorgasbord of chocolate at the end of our tour. It's quiet, so that means it's good, right? <laughs> kind of start in the mid-1800s. This is where the Wabash Erie Canal used to run through. And then we fast forward into the 1960s and talk about the origination of the arts campus. And then we touch on some history with the History Center. This building was our city hall for many years. The courthouse, some of the historic buildings along Calhoun. You kind of get a whole story of this is where Fort Wayne came from. This is where we are now, and this is where we're going with all the exciting development downtown. I am a passionate arts advocate, and I've seen what it's done to transform our downtown into a true destination for tourists and locals alike. I really wanted to infuse that. People just love it, whether they come from Fort Wayne, have grown up here, or they're transplants, or they live in one of the surrounding communities. The response is always, I had no idea whether it's about history or the art, and then many of them are visiting these restaurants for the first time. It has shown people who might not frequent downtown that our downtown is a safe and vibrant place to be. Well, even behind the camera, I had a great time on that tour. Amber's public tours are done for the season. She'll start up those again in May, but she does offer private tours all year round, and she's actually working on developing two additional tour experiences, including a brunch tour on Sundays and a wintertime tour along the historic landing. To learn more about the Fort Wayne food tours, just head to this story on Wayne.com. Hit the news tab and look for Positively Fort Wayne. And if you have a Positively Fort Wayne idea, send it to us. Just email positive at wayne.com.